what did you see maybe go haywire in the third period? Uh, same thing I saw parts of the second period. So my take on the game, I liked our work. I, I, I liked our, our checking, um, first period, we didn't make their D turn at all. So we were too soft with pucks coming through the neutral zone on our entries. We're always looking to hit trailers, make plays into the middle of the ice. So we didn't play behind and we didn't finish to the net. That's why we only had one. We ended up with six shots in the first period. Um, I don't think we gave up a lot either, but we didn't get a lot. Um, so our checking game was okay. We gave up a real good chance at right at the end of the period off, off the rush. Okay. Uh, second period, we started playing through to the net, to the goal line and behind their D and our offense starts to come, right? We got three, one was called back, but even at parts in that second period, the, they got all their chances or most of their chance. They shouldn't say all on a, on a couple shifts. And in both of those shifts, we had the puck three times, four times, five times in the D zone and didn't get it out. So they checked it back. We were a little bit nonchalant with the puck. We, we weren't firm enough with it. We didn't, we weren't aware enough to recognize the pressure and just put it out in the neutral zone, live to fight another day. So they rattled off some chances on a few of those shifts. And I saw the same thing in the third. Like I like some things that we did in the third too, but um yeah, I don't even know which goal it is now, but one of them, we had the puck three, four times again, and they just kept checking it back. And we had it at the top of, in the corner, then we had it at the top of the circles, and we had it two foot inside the blue line, and we just weren't getting pucks out, you know? Uncharacteristic of some of our guys, even Kale had one, what he had one uh, uh, two feet inside the blue line, and we didn't even get it out of the zone. They knocked it down, then kept the pressure on us, and we got tired guys out there, can't get off the ice. So it was our puck management. Give them credit. They, they worked. They stayed on pucks and, and checked them back. But um, that, that's my take on the game. I think we, you know, our, our intent and our purpose to check was there. Like we were committed to the checking game, but when you check it and then you give it back to me and check it back again, I felt like we were doing that on, I, I don't know, I'd have to guess, but eight shifts the whole night. And then in those eight shifts, they created a lot of chances and scored all their goals. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you think of I thought he started out, looked a little shaky to me. Um, had a real good second period. And then in the third, um, I thought he was pretty good too. You know, like he left some rebounds out in front of him. He just didn't look like he was seeing it and handling it as clean as he has been. Um, but he found a way to battle. He was battling all night. You know, like I said, on some of those extended shifts, there's a lot of work going on, lots of traffic. They did a nice job getting in and getting on rebounds and he had to make a lot of saves and some of them were happening through traffic. So he didn't really handle them that clean, but I, I have no problem with this game. What do you think of uh, I liked him a lot. Yeah, I, like, I thought he worked. He, he managed the puck pretty well. He, he, he didn't seem to be in a panic ever with it. Scores when he had two, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I know I liked him. I liked him in there. Good. Is this kind of, I mean, obviously, you don't want to play a game, but it does create a chance for guys like him to step up all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you lose a guy like Nate, you, you're losing a guy that plays. 23 minutes a night, all the offensive situations. So someone's got to fill in there, right? Uh, Gerard goes in the power play there. They did a great job. And, um, you know, we had other guys kind of share some of those minutes. Um, Miko goes to the middle of the ice. That's some good experience too, in case we ever need him there. You know, there's positives you can take out of it. Let's hope Nate's... Um, you know, he's going to miss these next couple of games before the break. And then I'm hoping he's ready to go after that. But it's good experience, no question. Speaking of the power play, it, it, it looked a little shaky the first one. Yeah. Maybe, what did you see as it went on and maybe got, even got a little more comfortable? Running? Yeah, I mean, well, that's what it is. I think you got to get a few reps. They had, you know, whatever, seven, eight minutes of work this morning with it and went over video and that's it. So, you know, different guys, different spots, everyone has their strengths and their weaknesses on, uh, on, 
on the ice and on the power play and and Gerard's strengths are a little bit different than Nate's right and his tendencies are different so they'll as they get more comfortable together and get some time together they'll, they'll you know even tonight they got better as the game went on the whole third line contributed today I think and just assisted the comfortable it seems like all three of those guys are maybe ones who maybe needed a point to maybe get going on this, but what do you think Yeah, well, it helps with their confidence for sure. I think they were excited about playing together. And we, you know, with – especially when, you you know, Nate's out and you need other guys to step up. And we really needed our, our third and fourth line to be better than what they've been recently. And I thought both lines were tonight. I thought the Maltz of Kubel and, and – um, Secure line was really good to start the game and we were playing them and getting some good minutes out of them. We shut them down, you know, after King got the one to pull within one in the last six, seven minutes. But before that, I had every intent on using them because I thought they were doing a nice job defensively and they had some good ozone time and they had some jump and pop in their legs, especially early in the game. Um, uh, what led you to give Kale the ace Yeah, I mean, just... You know, a little bit like Miko, right? Like he's a guy that's been leading us every night, consistent of what he does, makes a huge impact in the game. He's, you know, a leader, um, more comfortable, more vocal this year than he's been in the past. And I mean, if you're going to lead us on the ice every night and and be a huge contributor, then and then I feel like he deserves it. You know what I mean? Um, again. We have lots of guys that I think could be wearing letters for us, but you can only have three. And and but for me, he's just the impact that he's making in the game, and I want him. I want him involved in, in that part of it. I want our best players to be to have a voice and to be communicating with the rest of our team. And it's where his growth, you know, part of his growth will come from. It'll be because he is. He, I mean, he's been a captain before. He, he he knows he's involved with those guys on every aspect of our game: power play, penalty kill sits in all the meetings and, and it's good for him to have a voice and leader team. Uh, you touched on it this whole line, but when you think of Secura specifically. Yeah, I liked him. I liked him. I I thought all three of those guys were pretty good tonight. Yep. You just left the season series from him. But the games are hard fought. Does that speak to the talent level over there? Maybe a bounce here or there and you know one of those games goes the other way. Oh easily. Yeah. I mean I think uh well the game at home <laughs> I can't even remember the ones earlier in the year. I think it was opening night was the first one. But the game at home the other night, um, our goalie played really well. You know, that that's the reality of it. And is, that was the difference in the hockey game for me is our, our goaltender was great. Um, we got uh, opportunistic scoring in that one. And tonight, you know, really tonight, that could have went either way. You know, I thought I, I liked their first period probably better than ours. I liked our second better than theirs. And, and um, you know, they did a lot of good things in the third period. You know, we just we did enough to uh, get the win and survive it. But I mean, they're I, they're they're a hardworking team. They've, they've got some skill. They've got some grit. They've played us tough. They're 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 checking. Um, I mean, they're working and they're checking, and that and that and that's why they're in, in in every game against us. You know, I can only speak for those. Uh, less than immaculate after play, you guys. Yeah, you've got a really tough one that allows get not only do you survive, but the winning streak is going. Uh, you've gone a lot of depth. Are you, are you starting to get maybe even more impressive than you were before about the, the raw talent and the raw depth of this? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just I don't know what it is here recently, but we're, they're just finding a way to get the job done, you know. And and you're right, it was it wasn't pretty at times tonight. Um, but we get guys that you know make a play here or there to get us a goal, and we we you know we weren't perfect defensively either. Like we got caught napping a few times, and but we're making plays to prevent goals. It's it's like I don't know. It's some, something new every night that that's helping us win. And like tonight, the power play was a big factor for us, and and um, you, you know that that gets us, you know, probably gets us a win tonight. I know, Peter. Yeah, I just want to ask in general about the decision after our on uh, the power play. Why do you think that would be better? It's because what he's been doing on the other unit on the power play, very little time, 
great vision, knows how to distribute the puck. I mean, we saw it at home on the other unit just a few games ago. He gets two, we have two or three assists. Um, two of them were on the power play, great passes. He, I mean, if you're, if you're open and he knows how to, he's patient with it, he doesn't turn it over. Um, I just feel like he's a real good distributor of the puck from in there. We have, there's three lefties forwards on, on that unit. And, and so he can use the same kind of plays and same kind of setup as he's been using with new hook in the middle of the ice with Kadri. If they take that away, he'll find the seam to Miko as he did tonight, at least once. Um, just, just, I mean, I like the way he's finding guys. He's seeing it. Thanks. 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 Thanks.